Attention duped masses! You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. So speaking of growing trees, we're going to be talking to Mr. Chris of the Mary Jane Report coming up here in just a minute. But let's set the table, plant a seed, if you will, and head on down to Raleigh, North Carolina. The field where corn grew last year could be covered this summer in plants that look a lot like marijuana. North Carolina is calling for farmers to grow industrial hemp as part of a statewide test. The plant, a non-intoxicating cousin of marijuana, can be used to produce many products, such as cloth and oils, that might open new markets for farmers struggling with low prices on conventional crops. There's been a tremendous amount of interest in growing hemp, says Sandy Stewart, director of the research station for the state's Department of Agriculture and Consumer Resources. Industrial hemp is in the same genus, cannabis, as marijuana. And their plants look identical, Stewart said. The federal government outlawed cannabis in the 1930s, which of course is a fascinating story that you should go research if you haven't. Roughly 30 nations, including Canada and most of Europe, grow hemp for industrial use. American farmers and others lobbied for what could be a profitable crop here. Congress passed a law in 2014 to allow test projects for hemp farming. North Carolina followed the next year with a law to allow a test program, and Virginia did the same last year. And we have talked about this a little bit. I've talked about it even as it relates to West Virginia. West Virginia even has an industrial hemp set up. Like a lot of these situations, which actually even in some ways harkens back to the marijuana prohibition in the 1930s, the way they start to control it and clamp down on it is, of course, they set up their massive bureaucratic licensing schemes. Oh, there's people that would like to get into industrial hemp in West Virginia. Oh, I'm sorry. We just don't have enough licenses for you. But I'm sure if you if you keep asking, you, you might get some. So having said that, I think that sets the table plants the seed, if you will, as we start to head into a monthly installment that we've started in 2017, and we do it the third Wednesday of every month on your Food World Order edition of your Morning Monarchy. Again, I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com. Glad you're here for an hour-long look at news every weekday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific time at MediaMonarchy.com slash listen. We like to talk to our buddy, Mr. Chris. Let's ring him up on the skype See how he is doing for this March 2017 installment of Your Morning Monarchy. Mr. Chris of Mary Jane Report, are you there, my friend? Mr. James, how are you? Doing well, buddy. Sound all right? You do sound all right. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, it's, this is this is live radio. It's always got to take yes. me a couple of seconds to do a little bit of, a little bit yeah, of tweaking. Yeah, I lowered the volume a little bit, even though I don't, I don't think uh, it was my issue last time. But, it was um, my I did fault. Lower it, a bit. it was my <laughs> fault last time. I had everything <laughs> overdriven. <laughs> So, man, smoking. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, <laughs> you people don't know you. This is Chris. He runs MaryJaneReport.blogspot.com. And this is the third installment of the Mary Jane Report where we talk about cannabis and hemp. And it's not where you and I get together and talk about getting high and talking about getting stoned. I think the great thing about this, Chris, so far is that the feedback I've heard from people is like, man, I love hearing that guy. He's obviously not a stoner dude because, like, you and I have basically <laughs> talked about. You hardly, you know, you're you're not even actually a big marijuana smoker. I no, I'm not. I I, I would I wouldn't mind being a little bit more frequent than I am, which is a few <laughs> times, once or twice a year, maybe. But um, yeah, like I said, I I really only like to use it um for uh, medicinal purposes. But it does leave a little bit of a, a fog for me the next day, which once again is mm-hmm. is not an issue compared to the many pharmaceutical drugs out there that'll literally create other diseases. <laughs> but um, uh-huh. yeah, I no t- absolutely, James. I, I'm just it's, it's just a big advocate for the for the miracle plant that it is. So let's actually continue where we left off in a way when we talked last month and grab yes. a story off a site called Civilized Dateline Toronto Canopy Growth Corporation is being added to the influential S and P T S X, which is your Toronto Stock Exchange composite index in another milestone for Canada's fledgling marijuana industry. The cannabis producer will be added to the index's healthcare sector prior to the start of trading on March 20th. S&P Dow Jones indices have also announced all this. It will be the first marijuana company to join the index. So we talked last month just about dabbling into penny stocks in, yeah. in the hemp world. And actually, I, want, I still want to follow up with you because I, I want to literally dip my toes and get involved in the penny stocks. Yeah. So 
there's there's a bit that we could discuss with Canopy Growth Corporation out of Canada. I think there's even a Snoop Dogg tie-in. But, there is. But go ahead and, and talk about this and, again, how this is another way that shows the, the tide is turning. Yes, yes. Um, we spoke of last time was IIPR is the symbol, the trading symbol. They're out of San Diego, and they were uh, listed on the Dow Jones, um, I believe, in – in January, December or January. And um, they buy real estate and use that real estate for growers, uh, cannabis hemp growers. So uh, they, I don't know if they were the first one, the civilized, I don't know if they're right about this, but we'll have to, once again, as you always say, do, you know, everyone do your own research, but this, this, it may be two here, but um, official, but uh, this may be different because uh, the, this one, uh, Canopy is being added to, um, to the uh, S&P, so it might be a different thing. But uh, yeah, yeah, this is the tide is turning and, and you can actually buy, you know, honestly, there's a lot of great companies out there, too, that aren't even listed, um, that aren't public, that aren't penny stocks. So it's, it's difficult. You want to invest in them, but they haven't gone public yet. So, you know, that's something, we, believe me, we could, we're just literally 1% uh, we're, we're touching upon here of investing in the cannabis hemp industry. I like that, you know, as, as people know, of course, when you're listed on stock exchanges and things, you've usually got a little abbreviation or, or something. Pretty yeah. pretty good score for Canopy Growth Corporation. They will be listed on the Toronto Stock Exchange. You know what their little short f- four-letter abbreviation is? Weed. Actually, it's longer than that. It's, uh, it's T... Oh, you know. I'm sorry. You were going to say. <laughs> That's why I'm, I'm looking at it because it looks like they're... T-W-M-J-F, right? Oh, I see weed. I see... Yeah, t- I really? See t- T-S-X... Oh, oh, on the TSX, yes. Semi- here, over over the counter for here for investing uh, on in you in the U.S. It's T W M J F. Okay, so I think this is specifically what Canopy Growth Corporation will be listed as when they make it into the yeah. the stock index. Yes, yes, yes. So you know, you see people looking up and they're looking at those indices and they see you know all the major <laughs> corporations that are going to see the word weed yep. scroll by. And, and Snoop Dogg, and this is what I was going to say, James, that um, in October, their stock was $3 a share under that symbol I just mentioned. And um, it, it basically shot up to $10 a share within a month because they started um, selling his Leafs, quote unquote, Leafs by Snoop in, uh, mm-hmm. in October. So that's really what put this company on the map was the celebrity status of Snoop's products. And there, I mean, even the local recreational shops that I'll go into, they, of course, you know, they have the lobby filled with all you know all kinds of free magazines that's a whole other area we could talk about the massive oh, yeah. media explosion i mean there's one that i pick up called dope and even the version i'm getting you know it's the oregon version of the magazine where all the ads and some of the articles are sort of tailored towards oregon you could also pick one up that would be sort of the colorado version and every month looking at those i mean it's it's every month another story about Whoopi goldberg is launching a cannabis <laughs> line you know there's yeah. Obviously, people know that Willie Nelson has one, as he should. Yes, he should. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, again, and, and I think we'll we'll sort of maybe get back into this in just a couple of minutes. Oh, but yeah. it gets to just sort of the changing, the changing minds and the changing yeah. vibes. Um, so, I mentioned right before I brought you up that is it oh North so North Carolina's starting the testing program for growing hemp but we've also got an article that you sent me that goes to Wisconsin a group of Wisconsin legislators are working to pass a bill that would legalize the production of industrial hemp a form of cannabis used in paper food textiles medicine and construction materials state senators Patrick Teston a Republican and yeah. Jesse Krimer a Republican authors <laughs> of the bipartisan bill said the reintroduction of industrial hemp to Wisconsin will do wonders for the state's economy and farmers and this article coming from the Badger Herald then make sure they points out they point out the form of cannabis can't produce a high now i love looking you know seeing all these articles now because they have to explain it they have to explain that because this is brand new to so many people hemp and can hemp and marijuana are kind of the different thing one can get you high one can make paper and fuel and oil so and plastics and med- yeah absolutely yeah so i mean I, how many states are going to continue to do this? I hope I hope every single one of them, um, every <laughs> single Mary Jane loving one of them. Uh, well, because honestly, this is my my big thing. I mean, as much as I love the buds that come from cannabis, hemp, you could actually look at the stalks. It looks different. It looks straighter up. There's no buds really coming off. It's like they're cousins. I still don't unbelievably understand it completely. But, um, you know, like you just mentioned, James, uh, food, fuel, plastics, hempcrete. 
Uh, yeah, so so much stuff. I, I remember uh, you and James Corbett talking about these houses that are being built, um, and I, I don't know if they're being built from cement, but they're what do you call it? I, I forget what the name is for the 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 process. Oh well, I, I, the most recent thing I thought we were yeah. talking about was sort of three D printing. Yes, of, yes. Of now, now I wonder if you could use hempcrete for that. That's what I wanted to get to because huh. if they're going to use concrete, to, I don't think they could do that with the with the printing like that yet. But um, yeah, I mean, there's so much you could do. Hemp, to me, I, I, mark my words, uh, you know, we're 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 archiving this. Hemp will be a commodity in the United States. It might take a year. It might take twenty years, mm-hmm. but it is will be such an incredible um, uh, money maker, uh, job maker products, save products. Uh, hemp plastic is much more biodegradable than um, uh, petroleum-based plastics. I mean, there, there's just endless possibility here with the hemp. And, 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 uh, and, and, and it's funny, you, you know, you see this, there's two Republicans here and people will usually say that, you know, the left, the left, the right, which we're going to get onto this subject in a second. I don't know if I'm, if I'm uh, mm. tying it in here or not, but yeah. it's two Republicans that are doing this. And a lot of the times, you know, it will be the Republicans with the hemp issue, and because most people just don't understand what it is. Or you, you know, you mentioned word hemp, and like, are oh, you gonna you're gonna get high from that wallet you got made out of hemp? I'm like, nope. I'd probably cough and choke myself to death uh-huh. if I tried to smoke my wallet made out of hemp, Mister. You know, smarty pants. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it, it, most most of your listeners know what the difference is, but some people might might tune into this and they might not know that hemp is for you know is the fiber for products. And everything else we mentioned, and cannabis is the buds, which is you know the medicine and the and the herbs and stuff. You know, obviously, you know that. Now I don't know um, the article that we've got from the Badger Herald, and again, just like everything else, all the all the links and everything that we're talking about will be included in the show notes. And I try and and drive the traffic over to you at, at Mary Jane Report. The oh, thank you. The Wikimedia Commons photo that they have included on this story. The weed that it shows, I look at it, I was like, oh my God, look at all those seeds. Oh. It's not, it's not, uh, when I'm looking at this right now, it doesn't look like the weed that I buy in the store. So it's probably, <laughs> this is probably the more industrial form of hemp. Because yeah, I look at it right now and go, that would take you forever to get rid of all those seeds. <laughs> and look where the buds, I mean, you see their leaves all wrapped around, you don't see yep. the buds, you know? Yep, yep. And that's, you know, that's another kind of difference as, as things have gone through the years. I mean... Back in the 90s and back in college, you'd scrounge up money to try and, you know, buy a dime bag of, of marijuana. And it was usually brick weed that was coming from somewhere and you were you were glad to get it. And after you spent your time breaking it apart and seeds and stems and all those things, you just kind of had to take it and that's what you got. The amazing part of so much of this is much like, I mean, it's essentially the same thing as the craft beer explosion and the craft food explosion. It's artisans and farmers and lovers of the earth who are putting their hands into the dirt and making things, you know, for the good. Yeah. So Hemp. let's actually, you know, we're, we're not should tell well, folks. We're, well, no, one go last ahead. thing, Jane, before we, uh, I did want to mention, we, we don't, we can't, we probably don't have time to talk about it in depth, but um, there is another, to tie this in with the hemp and, the, and, and, uh, and I know you talk about Bitcoin quite a bit. Um, mm. There is a, there is a publicly traded RMTN, that's R as in Robert, M as in Mary Jane, <laughs> T <laughs> and uh, N as in Nancy, RMTN, that's a symbol, it's Rocky Mountain, it says AYR com, some kind of, but anyway, it's a, it's a hemp coin Basically, every share you buy, I think, is 10 or 20 shares of – there's hemp coin. People are going to have to research it on their own, but, but they are starting to come up with the alternative currencies, the digital currencies with, uh, you know, as a relation to Bitcoin, hemp coin. I'm pretty sure it's just called hemp coin. And uh, there's another one. I know you'd probably be interested. I just wanted to throw that that's, out there to you. That's good. I even just I even just sketched that down real quick for the show yeah. notes. And I was also just glancing at the chat real quick, and, and people have noted that's, of course – they, there's a reason they call it weed. It grows really fast, it grows really well, and it grows everywhere. And I also just saw in the chat they're saying good weed is being smuggled into Mexico now. So that's another great way that sort of shows things are being kind of flipped all cattywampus. And we are talking wow. to our buddy Mr. Chris of the Mary Jane Report for the monthly installment, which always goes too fast, my friends. We're down here to the last couple of minutes. But we wanted to talk about here just... You've noted, I mean, is it? it's polls and surveys. Americans all now pretty much agree on the cannabis hemp subject. So can you talk to that briefly? Yeah, I mean, I brought this up to you, wanted to talk about it. Um, you know, I'm, you turn on 
you know, alternative media, uh, independent media, I'd rather call it, like yourself mm-hmm. and um, all the, you know, what I'm starting to do here and, and, and mainstream media, they're, they're literally, a friend of mine had the TV on the day, MSNBC, I, I don't watch any, you know, news <laughs> like that, but I happen to catch it once in a while and they're literally just the right wing, the right wing, the right wing, the right wing, go to the Fox yep. or, or you go to, um, you know, some, some big independent media, the left, 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 right, left, right, left, I'm like, oh, my God. And the independent media should know better that it isn't about this. It's that these politicians, these actors that we have mm-hmm. are not the powers that shouldn't be that are running things that you say, you know, the powers that shouldn't be. I love that. <laughs> Thank I, you. I didn't coin that. I didn't coin that. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But just you do bring it out there and it's and it's perfect. Uh, but yeah, so it is shattering. I believe Mary Jane is shattering to a degree uh, as well. Uh, all the other benefits of it, of the right, the right, left, you know, division, distraction, you know, paradigm, and which we have to do. I mean, because, you know, I, I, I have this media that I'm building here, but I am very much like you with everything, with James Corbett, with Newsbud, with everything you're involved with. I, I, you know, I woke up years ago about everything, how our system works. I come from a Wall Street family, and I'm a musician, but, uh, you know, go figure, but um, <laughs> I'm nourishing my soul here. It's funny you call me Mr. Chris, too, because that's what my students call me, Mr. Chris, so it's kind of funny. <laughs> well, that's but, actually, I, that's that's why I picked it up. I got it <laughs> but from But anyway, there. to wrap it up with that, and yeah, I, I really feel like most people, you get on the subject of, they you throw people when I start, to, you, you, they think I'm going to take one side or the other, and I don't, and they, they they literally went up agreeing on most things, especially hemp and cannabis. You know, they, they believe people should be able to do what they want. It's a plant for crying out loud, you know? And this was, again, something I was, I was talking about with, with the buddy very recently. It's the, and this is just one of the things that's so exciting about all of this is just even the discussion and sort of the makeup, if you will, of cannabis and marijuana. It is a sort of, it is a freedom oriented plant and discussion that everything sort of involved with it is about agorism, is about voluntarism, all the sort of things that we in some ways sort of philosophically talk about. I love that cannabis is sort of the embodiment of that. It's the absolutely epitome of freedom. That's why the uh, founding fathers <laughs> planted it and grow it and smoke it. And that's, of course, why the United States government briefly ordered farmers to grow it again for the war effort because they know yeah. it made the best rope and the best textiles. It was and all mandatory that stuff. Yeah, at that point. It was, wasn't the Declaration of Independence written on hemp paper? Yep, some of the early yeah. drafts. Some of the early yeah. drafts. Yeah. So, man, I really appreciate just this brief 15 minutes that we get to talk to each other. Yeah. I can actually tell you firsthand that there are places that are very interested in more cannabis freedom oriented media my friend and if you and i talk a little bit more off mic we actually might be able to take the mary jane report and maybe break it out and make it make it its own little standalone thing my friend because well yeah absolutely no go ahead yeah absolutely because because the changes are happening the positivity is moving my friend yeah and i think we have a great report you know james definitely and i I totally enjoy talking to you about all this and uh yeah i mean i could do easily a 20 minute half hour if you wanted to Uh, i could even do it on my end and record us and and post it but if you it's i'd rather have you you know whatever you want to do i am i am game is what i'm babbling on about here sweet so i mean yeah that's i'm just in in the wrapping up i'm just telling you you know the interest is there and that you know the excitement is there and that's like ron paul said hey it's funny freedom is popular it seems people are really interested in it <laughs> yeah yep and like we just said this the the embodiment of, of freedom is is a great you know uh is 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 cannabis and hemp it just it's it's uh, honestly it, there's this energy in the world right now and uh, you know that's why i think trump got elected and, and um that people are looking for something other than the clintons and the bushes and that whole thing and yep. there that energy i think mary jane fits very strongly and i think it is even more of a bigger category catalyst that people even imagine it's the biggest growing business in the united states right now and people just you know they're not really you don't hear about that on, on msm at all you know mm-hmm. well and i can see it right now the chat concurs we should definitely do more mary jane report that is our monthly mary jane right. report with our friend mr chris he runs mary jane report.blogspot.com and we thank you so much for joining us live here on your morning monarchy all right james talk to you soon bro. all right buddy take care all right. bye you're listening to media monarchy with james evan filato Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology and the occult, all remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.